Another day, another time, Disney has been exposed for the woke hypocrites that they are. This time because of Gina Carano, whose lawsuit against them has shown just how hypocritical they truly are. Hi everyone, my name is Jacob Berry. Welcome to my vidcast, Studio Jake, where I talk about all things pop culture. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to support the channel, head on over to my locals community. The link is in the description. All right, so I've been covering the ongoing saga of Gina Carano ever since she was unceremoniously fired by Disney over some tweets, over her putting beep, bop, boop, droid noises in her pronoun bio section on Twitter, now X, and she has filed a motion or she has filed a lawsuit against them with the backing of Elon Musk. I've already talked about that a few years later, but better late than never. I'm glad she's exposing them. Well, she is saying that she was fired over her first amount rights. So she posted a few things questioning some authority. She posted a, a tweet. It was actually she reposted a tweet about saying how you know, up to 1930s Germany, that cert that the Jews were not targeted initially by stormtroopers, but that the, you know, the regime turned their neighbors against them. That's what she said. And they were, there were lies going on about her, especially in the mainstream Hollywood press, claiming that she compared conservatives and Republicans to the Jewish plight of 1930s Germany. And nowhere in the tweet does she say that, nor does she imply it. It was all a lie. And Disney happily fired her because Kathleen Kennedy is a raging narcissist who can't stand women who have different opinions of her. She's all about the forces female until that female disagrees with her about something. And then it's your fire. So years later, Gina has filed a lawsuit against Disney over this. Elon Musk has been backing her. She is joining Sage Steele, who was act she wasn't fired from Star Wars like like Gina was. Gina Carano, of course, played Cara Dune in The Mandalorian, but Sage Steele she was fired from ESPN over her opinions about things. And Disney, Bob Iger, pre and Bob Chapek, and previously Bob Iger. They didn't seem too happy about free speech. They just did not like it for whatever reason. I don't know why Bob Chapek and Bob Iger, the Bobs, I don't know why they don't like free speech. Of course, now if you're going the other side of the aisle, if because, you, you know, Bob Iger, he's a big time DNC donor, but you didn't know that. It's an open secret in Hollywood. You, you know, that's fine. But no, you can't say an alternative opinion. Well, now Disney is striking back in the most hypocritical way possible. So what, what are they doing? They filed a motion to dismiss Gina Carano's lawsuit based on First Amendment grounds. You cannot freaking make this stuff up. So this is according to Fox News. The Walt Disney Company has filed a motion to dismiss a lawsuit filed on behalf of Gina Carano, a conservative actress who has alleged who sh who has alleged she was wrongfully terminated from the Disney Plus Star Wars show The Mandalorian. In a notice of motion and motion to dismiss, the Dis Walt Disney Company, Lucasfilm, and Huckleberry Industries USA, collectively known as Disney, announced they would move the United States District Court Central District of California to enter an order dismissing Carano's complaint. Disney asked the court to enter the, their order on June 12, 2024, as, or as soon thereafter as the matter can be heard, citing this federal rule of civil procedure and the First Amendment. Disney makes this motion on the grounds that Disney has a constitutional right not to associate its artistic expression with Carano's speech, such that the First Amendment provides a complete defense to Carano's claims. The, market, the document obtained by Fox News Digital shares. The company compared its authority to a newspaper, which entitled to broad deference in choosing which writers to employ to express editorial positions. They claim their creative production enterprise is similarly entitled to decide which performers employ its artistic message. Oh my gosh, this is in the motion. This isn't just me rattling off or whatever. They are nuts. Now, this is filed in California. So do not be shocked or surprised if this judge dismisses it. The, you know, California is way known for siding with left-wing companies. Now, it might be different here because California does tend to take 
artistry a little bit different. I remember Andrew Claven got into a dispute over a screenwriter credit that he was owed and the screenwriters guild for their credit. I know I criticized them a lot. They sided with him. So good for them, but I still would not be surprised if, you know, Democrat mega donor Bob Iger comes out on top on this, but don't, don't you see the raging hypocrisy? They fired Gina Carano over a few innocuous tweets, a historical tweet, and her co-stars were tweeting stuff far worse than this Pedro Pascal notoriously fired off an Instagram post that was just disgusting and how it talked about the American people. And he should be very embarrassed by that. Not, But I don't think he should have been fired over it. Gina Carano, on the other hand, does. And so now Disney fired her because she used her freedom of speech. And now they are saying, hey, our free speech is that we should fire her. It, that is hypocrisy. Now, if they wanted to say, hey, listen, it's our right as a private company to fire her. We don't have to associate with her. We can fire her whenever we want. I can at least understand that argument. But for them to sit on their high horse for the First Amendment and, who, because, and say, this, we are owed this. We are owed our First Amendment expression over who we hire in the writer's room or in the actor's room. That is our prerogative under the First Amendment. Okay, for one thing, you're not an editorial place, as this motion says. You do own ABC News, but Gina Carano wasn't working for ABC News. She was working for Lucasfilm. You fired her, Disney, because she expressed opinions that are not approved by the Hollywood groupthink, by the regime, by the narrative, or as the critical drinker calls it, the message. That's why you fired her. It wasn't because you didn't like her artistic expression. In fact, people were happy with how she portrayed Caridu. Now, all the Disney shills and the bots and the trolls afterwards, of course, all of a sudden, they all they hated her all of a sudden. But if you look back, everyone was on board with Mandalorian Season 2, and then all that goodwill was lost by this firing. You had won us back with the reintroduction of Luke Skywalker into the Star Wars universe, something that was sorely lacking. Yes, I said it. I'm not taking it back. But then you lost it all with her firing. Over a, a tweet that was saying, hey, we shouldn't turn against each other. She made no political stance. She said nothing about political parties or even political ideologies at all. You just fired her because Kathleen Kennedy is a raging narcissist and you're not fooling anyone with this. Let me tell you something. These woke Disney executives, they are this is what they do. And it's not just them. It's also the the social media mobs, the whisper network that's infecting comic books. It's the DEI companies. This is what they do. They push their agendas on people. And they say, hey, we demand that uh, there are proxies, uh, Sweet Baby Inc. insert and destroy the narrative because our narrative is better, even though it's not. We demand that you put this messaging in here. We demand that you go along to get along. We demand the narrative. But I have a First Amendment. No, no, no. you're our employee. You do what we say and you, and you shut up and sit down. Or we're going to fire you and you're not going to get a severance. You can't feed your family. You're going to lose your insurance. Is that what you want? And then when someone calls them out on this, oh, I have the First Amendment. Oh, oh, oh. It's such raging hypocrisy. It's evil, quite frankly. You can't force diversity. You can't force equity. You can't force inclusion. Get woke, go broke, or go woke, go broke, however you say it. That's what's happening to Disney right now. They have not had any box office successes. They've all been box office failures, with the exception of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Not even Taylor Swift could move the needle for Disney+, Plus, and it all goes back to this. I think that if we continue... To vote with our wallets, we'll see. Yes, I know Nelson Peltz, he failed in his hostile takeover of Disney. He should have succeeded, 
but he failed because apparently the Disney shareholders don't want to make money. But besides that, it doesn't matter. If Disney folds tomorrow, I wouldn't shed a tear. I would just buy up DVDs of all their classics, and you should too, buy physical media. But to Gina Carano, I just want to say I stand with you, and I don't think it's a stretch to say I represent a majority of fans who stand with you who thought you were treated unfairly, even if they didn't care for The Mandalorian as much as I liked season one and two. Many of them are still siding with you because they see the unfairness of this. So I hope it goes in your favor. I hope you win. And I hope that the court ignore this hypocritical and bogus motion. Cause I've been living life right like I could just die any minute. Don't pull right down the side. PCH, cut your limit. I don't need a guide.